What's going on, everybody? So I've been asked to do this uh, update video on the position size calculator that I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it both on a Mac computer, and then I'll jump over to my gaming computer on Windows and show you how to do this. But it's, it's pretty self-explanatory um, on both operating systems. The, uh, and I'll drop the links down below. What you're going to want to do, because there is a change, okay? Um, you want to go over to Earn Forex. I'll give you the direct link um, in the comments down below. Go over to Software and go over to MT4, MT5 Expert Advisors. Now, I personally run everything on MT5. It is the same exact thing if you're going to run it on MT4. All right. So once you're here, you're just going to scroll down to where it says Position Sizer, and it's right here in the middle. Um, you're just going to click on that. All right, and we're gonna download this. So all I need you to do is come over here where it says downloads, click download. And if you're gonna run it on four, run it on MT4. If you're gonna do it on MT5, download it for MT5, okay? So it's only one file that we have to download. Once that is set up, what we're gonna do is, uh, and you know what here, I'll just share my desktop over here for a second. Um, actually, well, everybody should know um, pretty much from here what to do, right? You're just going to unzip it. So let me, bear with me, let me unzip this. All right, so it's in my downloads folder, it's unzipped. And the only thing that we need to do from here, okay, is we're gonna have a folder. And that folder is essentially just the position sizer, all right? That's all it is. Um, my suggestion for you is drop that in a folder that you, um, that you know where it's at. Okay. Um, whether or not you're going to open it up and throw it into your, my documents folder, something like that. That's all I need you to do. All right. Uh, so for me, what I'm doing is I'm going to be throwing that into, uh, my documents and bear with me here. I'm just going to do that real quick. Um, I'm just throwing the entire folder, the position sizer folder into my documents, right? So you can see, bear with me, let me just share my desktop. There we go. So you can see pretty much uh, goes right into my user, into my documents, and this is the folder position sizer. So don't need to worry about everything that's involved in it. All you need to do is simply this, all right? So it's in my documents. I'm gonna now drag over my MT5, okay? And from here, the only thing that we need to do is come over to File. You're gonna go over to Open Data Folder. It's going to now open up our data folder. And from here, what we're going to do is go to MQL5, go to experts. All right. And this is where we want to drop it. All right. So what we need to do is we need to come and because remember, I put it in my documents. I'm going to click my documents. I'm going to come over and copy position sizer. And now I'm just going to paste it right here. That is it, okay? That's the only thing that I needed to do, all right? Um, so from there, now I can hit X, and I'm gonna come over to Expert Advisors. I'm just gonna right-click once I collect it and hit Refresh, all right? And now from here, what it's going to do, it's going to compile it, all right? So just let it do its thing. If for some reason, after you refresh, it doesn't pop in, all right? And this is an issue. So I'm running an i7 Mac Mini. If you're running it on an M1 or an M2 uh, CPU, it'll compile it automatically. Now, if it doesn't compile, just go right back over to Open Data Folder. You're going to come, go right back into MQL5, Experts, and you can see the folder is here under Position Sizer. Now, the only thing I need you to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, double click on the actual MQ5 um, 
file. So double click on this. And now it's going to open up your, you can see it right here, your position sizer. I don't even need that anymore. And manually just compile it. So all we're going to do is just hit compile. Make sure that you don't get any errors on the bottom. You can see that it's generating itself now. And that took about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. And we have zero warnings. And now you can see over here on the left-hand side, we have the position sizer that is there. So for some reason, if it doesn't do that, if it doesn't automatically, when you hit refresh compile, just again, go back into open data folder. You're going to come back over to MQL5, go back to experts where you drop that folder in. And all you need to do is compile the MQ5 file. And then after that, you're going to have the EXC file that'll be created after it's been compiled. All right. Pretty simple. Uh, and then from there, all you're going to do is this, right? So we have, let's open up, um, you know, here we'll throw up AU on the chart. All right. And what we're going to do is just drag this over. Now, one thing you need to make sure is allow modification of signals. Click on that. Make sure the allow algo trading is there because it is an EA. And now you're going to go into your inputs. All right. These are all settings that you will be able to change. If you're on a Mac, the only thing you won't be able to do is change the colors. On a Windows computer, you will be able to do this. All right. So from that, um, you know, make sure, go through all the settings. There's a couple of things that I like to have in there, you know, putting on the spread onto the actual position sizer. You know, I can, you know, you definitely have some presets. So, you know, um, I like to show all of the labels, right? I like to have all of this. Um, let's see. I don't care about that. Show point and value. I do like that. Show max position, so I don't want that. Um, so you can you can change the different, you know, if you want your entry line to be, you know, a dash dot, you can do that, stop loss and all that. Um, so I like the default to be instant, default take profit value. So one of the things I like to do is I like to change my default stop loss to number two, all right? I don't have a default take profit value, but if you just want to make that, like something away from the entry line. And I'm going to show you why. Um, it doesn't really matter for me. I, I typically work off of pendings, okay? If you want to change that to pending or to an instant, it's, it's entirely up to you. Um, the other thing I like to do is, uh, let's see. I don't care about that. So initial risk tolerance right here. Uh, so for me, I always put a quarter percent. Um, Let's see. Uh, just kind of going through it real quick. I already have this saved, but I'm going to show you where to save it. Um, let's see. Max position, subtract. Yes. Let's see. Um, ask for confirmation. So I always ask for confirmation on pending because I want to make sure I get it right. Um, I don't care about trailing stop, break even, don't care about that. Let's see, use commission to set TP distance. No, but here, show spread. I like to have this up in the top of it. Um, take profits. I always run with four take profits, so it's going to split the trade into four. Uh, now, quick, quick risk. So this is where I put 0 0.13, all right? And I do a 0 0.25, uh, the piece. And then here is where you can make your hotkey, whatever you want it to. I personally put shift and Z, okay? The reason I do that is because the shift and the Z uh, keys are on the left-hand side, and that's something that I can use with my left hand. I don't have to think about it, so I'll put the shift key in there. Shift plus Z, you can make a control, whatever you want. Um, okay. So I've got pretty much really quickly what I want to put in there. Now I'm going to hit save and I'm just going to put PSC and hit save. Okay. Uh, so now it's good to go. I'm going to hit okay. And now you can see that I've got up here, my PSC. All right. Spread is five. It's showing me pretty much everything in here. Okay. Um, you can see 
entry and the gray boxes are stuff that you can tap on if you want to move it around. All right. So if I was going to throw an order in here, let's go, you know, let's just say we're, if I wanted to throw an order in here, okay. What I can do is something like this. All right. I can come over and, you know, let's just say that I'm going to move. All right. I'm going to move the stop loss line to this high right here. I'm going to now put my entry line, you know, somewhere above here. And you know what? Just just so that we can see it, we'll do it like this. So stop loss above here. Let's say I was going to do my entry was going to be right here. And now I want to put take profit. So I just click on this take profit button. And what it'll do is it'll create all of the take profits for me. All right. Um, now all I have to do is just drag this down and it'll tell me exactly based off of, you know, my in here. We'll, we'll delete this. And you can see, all right, so when you click the take profit, it'll do that. Same thing, if you drag your entry price anywhere it's going to, and you click the stop loss, my default was two pips, it's going to move the stop loss two pips above where that was, okay? So if we now do, and here, we'll do it like this again, right? I'm going to double click it. We already saved it, so I'm just going to load it. Here's my PSC. I'm going to load it, hit OK. And now it's going to drop into, there it is. It's going to drop into here with all of the data. If you want to make it so that every time you open a chart, like I showed you in the last video, right? What you want to do is you want to create a template and save it as the default template, right? So just create it as default. Click yes, it's going to ask you to override. So now if I open up like the Euro, I'm sorry, the NZD USD chart automatically, my PSC is loaded in, okay? And then from there, it's the same PSC, right? You can go through, you can change all the settings you want. Um, you know, you can move your positions around. I like it because it tells you exactly what your profits are gonna be and, and all of that, all right? So very simple, how to create the, um, or how to install the new EA for the PSC. And then once I wanna put the trade in, remember, uh, for me, I've got the hotkey set, okay? So what I'm going to do is here, I'll show you real quick. So if that's my stop loss up there. And I'm going to put my order up here. So here we'll drag down. I'll just kind of drag this down here. All right, and you, if I'm gonna now go ahead and install or run the PSC again, for me, it's Shift and Z. All I have to do is hit Shift and Z, all right? And you'll see it asks me for my confirmation, I'll hit okay. And now my orders are set, okay? And it's that simple, all right? Piece of cake. Uh, Hopefully this makes sense. It was an easy install and you've got no questions. If you do, comment down below. Give me a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great one.